Identity is defined as the fact of being who or what a person appears to be. Many people want to identify as something different than what they appear to be to others, and very few people are willing to accept the identity their Creator gives them. Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God calls all of us sinners. Our identity before God has nothing to do with the amount of melanin in our skin, whether we believe we are the gender listed on our birth certificate, or whether we believe we're a species other than Homo sapiens. God, our Creator, identifies us as sinners. Sin is anything that violates the nature or character of God. He is perfect and righteous. All our actions are measured against His perfection and righteousness. Our Creator says in Romans 3.10, there is none righteous, not even one. This is the most basic and thorough identity we have. We are sinners by nature and by our actions. We're all sinners, no matter what other identity we have or want to have. So what's the big deal for sinners? If all of us have the same nature and act according to that nature, why should we care? Doesn't God know we're trying? Isn't He a God of love? Well, He is a God of love, but He is also a God of righteousness and justice. God makes clear in the Bible that sin is an offense to Him, and He will judge it. In order to be just, He must judge us. All sin must be paid for. There are only two ways for that to happen. One is for sinners to spend eternity in hell, separated from God and all that is good. But by God's grace and mercy, there is another possibility. Rather than spending eternity in conscious agony, God graciously has made a way for us to have our sin debt paid. The second member of the triune God, Jesus Christ, became a man. He was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life so that he could be a perfect sacrifice, was crucified on a Roman cross, died and was buried. Three days later, he rose from the dead. The death he died and the wrath he bore is enough to pay for those sins. His resurrection was proof that God accepted the payment that Christ made. The Apostle Paul puts it this way in 2 Corinthians 5.21. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. We can change our identity from being a sinner, offensive to God, to being identified by him as sinless and perfect in his sight. We can make the great exchange, our sin for his righteousness. This wonderful transformation can happen to you right now. It is offered as a gift. Simply agree with God about who you are, a lost and hopeless sinner. Confess your sins, cry out to Jesus to save you. Thank him for providing salvation and give him your life. You will change your identity from being sinner to saint.